In a store, the items displayed on the shelf are part of the inventory. Inventory is any stored resource used for current and future need. Managing the level of inventory is important because too much inventory means the cost of storing is high while too few inventory may lead to stockout problems. This video will discuss how to use inventory control models to minimize the cost. First, I will discuss how to determine the levels of inventory and what are the costs involved in inventory control. There are only two decisions when controlling inventory. How much to order and when to order. The costs for inventory control are material costs, ordering costs, carrying or holding costs, and stockout costs. I will now discuss one inventory control model called the economic order quantity model or the EOQ model. There are two assumptions of the EOQ model. The first assumption is the purchase cost is constant. In other words, there are no quantity discounts. The second assumption is there are no stockouts. This means the item is always available. Previously, I mentioned the costs involved in inventory control are material, ordering, holding, and stockout costs. Since there are no quantity discount, the material cost is always constant. Since there are no stockout, there is no stockout cost. Therefore, for the EOQ model, the only variable costs are ordering costs and holding costs. Another assumption of the EOQ model is instantaneous receipt. This means all the items arrive at the same time. For example, if a shop orders 100 shoes, then all 100 shoes arrive on the same day. On the other hand, if 50 arrive today and another 50 arrive the next day, this is not instantaneous receipt. We can show instantaneous receipt using a graph. Let the y-axis represents inventory levels and the x-axis represents time. Suppose the amount per order is Q. When the order arrives, the inventory level instantaneously increases to Q. As time goes on, the inventory level decreases as the items are being sold off. Finally, the level reaches zero. Then the next order arrives and the level instantaneously increases to Q. Then the level decreases due to sales finally reaching zero. This cycle then continues. The graph shows the inventory level varies from 0 to Q. To make it simple, we take the middle level as the average inventory. Therefore, average inventory equals to Q over 2. Consider ordering cost. Let D be the annual demand, that is the demand for one year. Q is the amount per order and C sub O is the cost per order. We do one example first. Consider a brand of shoes sold by a shop. The annual demand for the shoes is 500. The shop orders 100 shoes each time. The cost for each order is 20 ringgit. The number of orders in a year equals to Annual demand 500 divided by amount per order 100 which equals to 5. 
every time the shop makes an order, the shop pays 20 ringgit. Therefore, the annual ordering cost is 5 times 20 ringgit or 100 ringgit. Now consider the problem in general. The annual ordering cost equals to number of orders per year times the cost per order. which is D over Q times C sub O. This is the formula for annual ordering cost or just ordering cost. Now consider holding cost. Let C sub H be the holding cost per item. Previously, we have shown the inventory level varies between 0 and Q. The average inventory is halfway between these two levels. That is, the average inventory equals to Q over 2. Therefore, the annual holding cost equals to the average inventory times the holding cost or Q over 2 times C sub H. This is the formula for annual holding cost or just holding cost. We have ordering cost equals to D over Q times C sub O and holding cost equals to Q over 2 times C sub H. From the formula, we see that ordering cost is inversely proportional to Q because Q is the denominator. This means as Q increase, ordering cost decrease. We also see that holding cost is proportional to Q. This means as Q increase, holding costs also increase. We can show these results on a graph. Let y axis be the cost 
and the x-axis be q. This curve shows as q increase, ordering costs decrease. This curve shows as q increase, holding costs increase. Now consider the total cost. This is the sum of ordering costs and holding costs. This curve shows the total cost. We see the total cost is at the lowest point or minimum when the ordering cost equals to holding cost. That is D over Q times C sub O equals to Q over 2 times C sub H. Now bring Q to the right and we get 2D C sub O over C sub H equals Q squared. Solve for Q and we get Q equals to the square root of 2D C sub O over C sub H. This value of Q is special because at this value, total cost is minimum. So we call this value of Q the EOQ. To summarize, this is the formula for the EOQ model. Total cost is the sum of ordering cost and holding cost, where ordering cost is D over Q times C sub O, and holding cost is Q over 2 times C sub H. Total cost is minimum when ordered at EOQ, where EOQ is the square root of 2D times C sub O divided by C sub H.